Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Twilio account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you buy a Twilio virtual phone number? So let's go ahead and talk about that. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to buy a Twilio virtual phone number anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're using Twilio for your customer communication, you know that you have to buy a virtual phone number in order to use the messaging feature. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Twilio console. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Twilio account and this is the home screen where you will choose your Twilio account. I only have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. Okay, so once you click into your Twilio account, it's gonna bring you to the console and this is the home page. Now, in order to buy a Twilio virtual phone number here on the left side, you wanna click on phone number. Once you do that, you're gonna see another drop down menu and click on this button here called manage. All right, lastly, you're gonna see one more drop down menu and you wanna click on this one, buy a number. You can also click on active numbers. If you click on active numbers, it's gonna bring you to a different screen. Okay, so when you click on active numbers, it shows you all the numbers you might've had, but you wanna click on buy a number here on the top right. Or like I said, you can click right here, buy a number. Okay, so in order to buy a number on Twilio, first you wanna go ahead and choose the country. For me, my business is run in the US, so I'll go ahead and leave it there. Next, you wanna go ahead and choose here. So you can search by number or locality. On locality, you wanna go ahead and maybe type in the name of the city. So we'll do Los Angeles and search. And you can see that it's gonna pull up all the numbers that would be related to Los Angeles, or you can do the number and then just type in an area code. So for example, if we wanna do New York, maybe we'll do 212 and then search. Okay, there's no phone numbers that match that area code. Let's go ahead and try maybe 503. Okay, so you can see it pulls up 503 area code. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get a 213 virtual number for my Twilio. Okay, so now you can go ahead and just scroll through and then just find a number that has the capabilities that you're looking for. So most of the numbers it looks like have all of these, the voice, SMS, MMS, and fax. So usually what I'll do is I'll just choose a number that looks kind of memorable. So this one looks pretty good right here. So they do let me know the monthly price is $1.15 for this virtual phone number with Twilio. So I'll click on buy. Okay, so now you get the order review screen. So they do let you know you will be charged $1.15 immediately. Also, $1.15 will be a recurring monthly fee. And that is just to have the phone number. So in addition to that, any kind of usage for text message calls that would be charged extra. Now you can see that my account is not set up for 10 DLC. If you need help setting your account up for 10 DLC, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. Basically, it's registering your business and letting Twilio know how you're going to be using the phone number for text message because they don't want you sending out text messages to people who did not authorize you to send messages. Okay, so once you've reviewed that, go ahead and click on you agree to comply with the emergency calling terms and conditions. So it looks like you have to register an address in case of emergencies. Otherwise, if there's an emergency call, you get a $75 fee, which is kind of expensive. So next you want to click on here and buy the phone number. Okay, a quick second later, there was a pop-up up here on the top right, but it went by so quick. I didn't get it on camera, but it said that I have confirmed purchased this phone number. So immediately I can go ahead and start receiving calls and making outgoing calls and also faxes. But text messages or multimedia messages won't be able to send or receive until I register 10 DLC. So if you want to configure your phone number with Twilio, click right here, configure number. Okay, so here is where you can go ahead and set up the configuration for your virtual number with Twilio. And now this number will show up in your list of active numbers. So if you click over here on the left, active numbers, all right, you can see my number is listed here. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to buy a virtual phone number in your Twilio account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.